Okay, here's a closer look at the 195 watt panel. This is today as I'm going to be doing the modification of this to improve it. You can clearly see the puncher damage there. All the glass is shattered, so hence I covered it with this polycarbonate. All siliconed on. Probably going to be quite fun to remove that. There's the Mark II version up there, just done with clear coat. I'm going to sneeze, there's so much sun. So these three, 20, they're all 24 volt panels, and the up there's a brand new good one that I bought at much more reasonable prices more recently. And they run the 24 volt bank that's in this shed down below here. What else can I say about it? Oh, the mounting is different. I didn't use my normal um, bottle cap grab washer technique because of the polycarbonate being in the way. So I just put these flaps on, screwed them on, or bolted them onto the bottom of the panel and just holes in the polycarbonate, screw it down. So once I remove this polycarbonate, I do have the option of removing those and doing it my other way or just leaving it like that and putting it back up like that. Um, probably going to be a more than a one day job I mean I've got to take it down remove the polycarbonate test the panel try and rig the bypass which I'll show how I do that and um, if that doesn't work then I'll just um, bypass that whole rail completely and just run it as a sort of a high voltage 12 volt panel because there's effectively well is it 72 cells here which is um, essentially three strings of 24, does that work out, 48, uh, yeah that works out, three strings of 24, so you've got three lots of 12 volt sort of thing, um, and the bypass diodes in between each string, so if you could just, you know, bypass the bad string completely, but I think the fault is only likely to be in a couple of panels there may be more in this one because that one up there it didn't seem to get so many bad there was only one severely damaged whereas this one here it's right in the corner so it's sort of partially damaged like more so we'll see we'll see so I'll turn this off and um, give an amp reading of these panels to show you the good the bad and the ugly and um, then I'll proceed to remove it which I won't film I'm not good enough at YouTube videos yet to be doing things while filming. I don't have a tripod or nothing like that. So, and here is the 24 volt panel. Well, control panel, not solar panel. Um, I won't go through everything. The sound meter is actually not, obviously, reading micro amperes. It's reading amps, actually. Um, the numbers are correct if you scale them down by 10 and then call them amps so we're getting on to about seven and a half amps at the moment coming through here but let's check out the dispersion okay now this here is showing the the good panel up at the back the angled one so you know four amps that's getting up to its almost maximum output so that one's doing pretty well as you'd expect, there's nothing wrong with it, so. And then we have the middle panel. It's not at the best angle for the sun at the moment, it'll come better in the summer, but as you can see, that's putting out a good, you know, up to two amps, kind of or getting up there towards two amps, so that's doing all right. And this wire here is the one we're going to be working on today and as you can see that's putting out a, a percent 0.5 amps which is absolutely shocking really the sun's well on it now and I'm sure we can do better once we deal with it 